Hey guys, this is Robert and Patrick with Fathers of Chaos, and we're here to start him into Red Solstice and start by teaching him the basics and maybe do it around real quick. Robert, what's Red Solstice? <laughs> Uh, basically, Red Soldiers is where you pick a soldier and you go into a infested sector to kill the Stroll, which are the creatures, and try to survive and extract. So it's a top-down shooter style game. Yes. Cool. Yeah. All right. There's two. There's two keyboard settings, controls, and a controller setting. Okay. Well, I'm using a keyboard. So I guess my first question for you is I'm at the beautiful launch screen here on Red Solstice 2. How do I join you? <laughs> so you can join via Steam Friends List or I can invite a friend and send an invite. That's All right. I got the invite. I'm going to join you. Or if I have my ser server open, it should be in the server list. Okay. So there you are. All right, so I'm a little blue dude. You're a little blue dude. We got way too big of guns. You know how much back pain that would cost? Anyways, what? Do, how do we get started here? What's the first thing we got to do for the uninitiated of us? So we'll let's see. We, we gotta we we gotta find how you're gonna play this guy. So, okay. so we have to go ahead and go to your character. So you can either go to loadout on the top right or click your person on the screen. Yep. And it says you're on your character. So we can go, let's start with a skill, your skills. So yeah. Okay, where do I find the skills? So you have one through four on the bottom and F and V. Okay. I see you. Yep, on the bottom by your guns. So your first your first skill stimulants, basically you want to just read all these skills, kind of trying to get the, the first steps out of the way so you kind of understand what you do before you jump in. Okay. The first one is stimulants. It basically, you know, it, it's just a stim. It's going to give you quicker reload times, more damage. And this is for the medic or the assault class, right? Yes, the assault class. Okay. And would do you have a preference, but like for getting started between assault versus medic, um, why I might choose one versus the other? I would rather play. I would pick assault just because you're starting missions that you're gonna have to promote yourself. It's gonna start with assault anyways, and that's kind of what the game defaults you on first. So I would play one or two rounds assault, get the hang of using his skills, and then move to medic. Okay. It just, awesome. Okay, so sorry for interrupting. Stimulants uh, makes me super stimulated. Yeah, yeah. For you know, they have so it, it breaks it down per level. So there's the slashes between each number. There is for each skill level up. Okay. So yeah, the more you upgrade it, the better it gets. Better it gets, and more healing. More time. More more time yeah faster, faster reloads faster all that stronger stuff. yeah so you basically you you hit that 20 seconds you're just like a super soldier cool and right. overwatch is the retarget is when you hit e you can have your soldier auto target enemies if it's everything's too much you can just have them auto shoot while you run and okay. that's what auto watch retarget is some people like it, some people don't, based off of uh, how much stuff is happening. Because if you manually aim, you have a higher crit chance. And we'll get into that more as, as you play. Okay. Okay. So that is stimulants. Most people don't use it just because it only heals for 50. And it, right, it, it's the it, first level. Yeah, 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 and it's not really... You, you only get the most out of it at level 5 when it clears bleeding and poison and you start okay. yeah you start out with 550 health so it's it's not the is best. there something better i should start with in stimulant or is it a good starter one for getting me going um let's see here it's a good starter one perfect all right um so moving on the next one is critical strike it looks like yes 
So that's kind of, you know, self-explanatory. It does crit chance percentage and crit bonus is your damage bonus multiplied. So higher chance to hit a critical and more damage when I do. Yep. Got it's, it. A lot of people use them as fillers too. Because if you look on the bottom right where it says initial suit level and max suit level, it's it's going to be right above number three and four, like the words. Right above number three and okay. Uh, yeah. It's, initial suit level, yeah, three maximum yep. suit level thirteen. Okay. So if you take off a skill, that will decrease it down to, I believe, two and ten. Okay. So the more skills you have, the more upgrades you have, you're not going to be able to max out all your skills. You just, a lot of people, yeah, see, it goes 2 to 10. Got it, okay. A lot of people do it for fillers to max out their other skills. So most of the time you're going to either go in the game and only max three skills and just have a filler, or you're going to have upgrade maybe grenade once and then you know spread it out differently okay and i can cool all right so so as so you critical strike is pretty simple grenades i'm assuming is i throw a tiny object that goes kaboomy yep that's it it does uh, it shows you your damage your flat damage 600 to, to uh 2000 and the, the main focus is it does armor shredding or armor shredded okay and that, that on the stroll monsters, they will have a health bar and a armor bar. And every time you shred an armor, you know, it, it reduces an armor bar off them and gets you closer. It makes them more vulnerable. Yeah, it gets it closer cool. to their health. All right. What about this next one? It says Buckshot. Buckshot is like a shotgun, but it's like an energy shotgun. Like a, like a, just a cone shot. Just just a shotgun shell blast. Got yep, it. Yep, energy, cool. energy shotgun blast. And the only other thing is when you upgrade that to level three, it does armor shredded also. Cool. All right, so those are my uh, skills. What about F and V here, the energy blade and adaptive systems? Um, I don't play with uh, energy blade most like hardly ever, but it's basically a power punch. So if you have some weak guys swarming you, it kind of just, hey, you know, I'm going to cut them down real quick. Okay. I would. Yeah, and it said that I had too much stuff equipped. The energy blade was overdone, so. Yeah, I would I would remove that. Adaptive okay. system. Yeah, you can just leave that off right now. What's adaptive system? Sorry for interrupting. That is for indoor combat stuff. Basically. Okay. There is so much stuff on there. You don't even have to read that, but you can. Basically, when you're indoor, you're just better. You're like, it's like your home perf. Basically, you're going to target, damage, reload, everything faster, move. And... Is It's... that a good choice for a beginner, or is there a better choice for a beginner? I would choose that for a beginner just because you're going to be in buildings looting, trying to find supplies, and that would be a good one to move around with. Okay. Great, so that kind of takes care of my uh, bottom bar here. Um, I see an automated shotgun and a gar. Do I need to do anything with those, or is that pretty good to to leave? Those are good to leave. Gar gar is a just a standard machine gun, and your auto shotgun it is your secondary. You're gonna pull out, just left click, and it's just gonna blow the stuff away. Good. It doesn't even look like I have a choice for changing out the shotgun, anyways. <laughs> yep, it's. I, yeah, yeah. But they're good starters. Good starters. Awesome. Um, um, you have revive sticks. Those are... Uh, we'll go more into your... Since we took off the, the energy blade, there is another skill we could put on instead. Okay. Um, I noticed that I have a certain amount of energy I can use. And it looks like different... Um, Skills use different amounts of energy. What can I, um, how do I tell my total energy and what I can use and what I can't? Okay, so the energy is your combat, combat suit power based off, uh, okay, so the more, the more energy suit power you have, the higher energy regen you have on the bottom left of your stats. 
You can see it. It should be green oh, on yours. At the four... green region, the 4.6 per second I have? Yes. So the more, yeah. like, uh, the farther you're away from your cap, the higher your energy regen gets. So, like, if you, yeah, if you want to, like, start spamming skills and stuff, like, you're going to want that higher. So, like, if you have more power cores that you put on, it's, yeah, yep, as you put on. Okay, so, like, I take off Buckshot here. Now, all of a sudden, my total energy drops, and now I have five regen per second instead of 4.6. Yes. So, yeah, wow. you'll, yeah, and another thing they don't, they don't really explain is as you move, your energy is energy regen is uh, cut in half. Oh wow! So anytime that I'm moving my character, my regen is cut in half. Yeah. So if you're at five, it'd be cut two and a half as you're playing. So when you stop to shoot, if you're standing still, you'll actually be regening more. More energy than if yeah. you're constantly moving. Okay. But, but most of the time um, we are moving. So. Great. Um. So yeah, higher is definitely better for that. Um, so what, I guess a good question for a starter then, we have the basic GAR gun, that, that looks great. Um, we have the automated shotgun, we really don't have a choice about that one. Um, I have my stimulants, my critical strike, my grenade, my buckshot, and I currently have adaptive systems on. And that's leaving me at 4.6 energy regen per second. Would you recommend for a starter that I stay with this? Should I add anything? Should I remove anything? What what should I be doing here? So you can rearrange your skills based off of uh, one through four, how you like to press them. That, okay. You literally just click it and you drag them over. Right. Okay. Just drag them around. Got yep. it. Depending on how you like to press them, that might be something you might want to do. And the only other thing is under support, there should be a skill that says sprint. Oh, and, right there, sprint. Yep. And you might you would have to take off a power core or a revive stick. Um, what would you recommend that I do? Take off I have two revive sticks and three power cores. Well, if you're playing with someone like me or someone higher up who knows how to play medic and we'll revive you. I would take off revive sticks, but if you're on your own, you can just leave them on. All right. Well, since I'm playing with you, I'll take off a revive stick and add sprint. Is that what you're saying here? Yep. All right. And I got that on my F button. F is for faster. I like it. And then go ahead and just put power cores as your remaining slots. Because you're going to want to have all your slots filled. And then under defense, I don't know if you have any health. Uh, I have power cores, life support, or plating. Yes, life support will give you more health and health regen, which is, in my opinion, better than armor plating, just because all the debuffs gives you a lot of negatives. So, okay. So if you're gonna, if they cut you and you bleed, you're gonna be losing like one health a second, so that kind of counteracts it. Counteracts it. That makes a lot of sense. So am I good with then stimulants, two power cores, and two life supports? <laughs> you could put more health if you want. Uh, you so could, should I? Yeah. Take, what what would be the recommended here? Take for off health. Take off the power cores, and then put, both power cores. Yep. Okay. Um, and that's as high as you can do at your current level for your first game. Okay. Offense, I have grenades, a power core, adaptive systems, critical strike, and buckshot. Would you recommend any changes to that? Um, the, uh, Overwatch, if you could take off a power core and put Overwatch, I don't know if that's going to put you over your limit. Overwatch. I do not have Overwatch on my list. Okay, let me see. I gotta look at here skill tree. I guess it's under. Just making sure. Yep, it's not on there. Okay. So well, you don't have to worry about that. All right. So well, then we'll leave it the way it is for this. Yep. Everything looks good. And if you put your mouse cursor down to the bottom left, where it says your level, that will tell you what your first <laughs> mission, it, what you, what's your goal to promote to get farther into the game okay 
Well, clearly I've played a couple of rounds, but I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing here because that was probably like six months ago. Um, so it looks like I need to kill 200 monsters, uh, loot five lockers. And then those are your map settings. So you're going to need easy difficulty, zero infestation. Sorry. Okay. Horde arrival late. And so I need all of those set. So how do I set those? Your host will set it, or you can okay. set it yourself under mission setup. Real and... quick, since you are the host, would you like to show us on uh, yep. show us on your screen how you would set those? Yep, I am showing. You can actually go under mission setup also to just to get an idea. So difficulty will be set up on easy because he needs easy. Infestation is the number of biomasses that are spawned into the map which makes the game harder it says okay. it says higher infestation will cause enemy waves to spawn faster on missions and higher infestation will cause more mutants to spawn while traversing through an area affected by biomass so more of those more guys harder time getting through place to place so first time gamers probably put it down to zero you might see one here and there or you can just put one just for. If and you... It sounds like zero is needed anyways for the, the some of the first yes. missions. So it you can put extra if you want extra XP. Because each notch will give you 5% more experience. What would be better? Leveling up to the next rank um, or getting experience? Mm, probably rank for right now just to learn the game. And then later on, you can do experience. Okay, so zero for that. Uh, uh, secondaries, you can do normal if the game's going to be long. You might want more secondaries. Like if you have your horde arrival is going to be on late or somewhere standard or early, you might want many secondaries. It doesn't make a big deal the more you have. Okay. It, it just gives you more stuff to do. It could make the game harder based off of what they give you or easier. It's just a wild card kind of thing. Okay. Sounds good. Air support drops more supplies into the map. It just kind of just puts sprinkles of supplies around the map. Right. You could put that up or down. It's just, it's just an XP thing. So if you want to oh, find a lot of stuff without looking hard, you can crank that sucker up. Okay. And then Horde Arrival, that's uh, how fast the main enemy swarm arrives. That's supposed to be late, I guess, right? Yep, we can do late. For, it, for me, artillery... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we can do late. Late will make it a very long game, but it's okay. You can leave anytime you want in the game. There's multiple exits. And then artillery support is will reduce the enemy's health. Okay. So the first notch is negative 12.5% and the next is 25%. Okay. That, that... And this challenge requires it to be on heavy, it looks like. Oh, it does. Okay, most challenges will have that off. And... Yeah. <laughs> it yeah, looks I'm like just... setting it to heavy is how you get it down to that one skull easy. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're pretty much there. And vehicles is a downloadable content thing. Okay. Oh, it looks like you have to, on the right-hand side, there's the actual difficulty set to very hard. Yeah, you can change change it. So before you do any of your map settings, you're going to want to pick your difficulty first because if you pick a different difficulty, it will reset everything you just changed. Okay. Which will kind of kind of be sucky. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right, you want to move us over to easy since that's what I'm requiring, and we'll go. Yeah. So we get to shoot something at that point. So if you go if you go back to your overview and back to mission setup, it should all be changed. Yeah. The only thing I'm seeing right now. Wait, on mission setup? Or, yeah, you just, just click a different tab and go back so it'll refresh the tab for you. Oh. Yeah, it should be good to go. 
still shows difficulty a very hard on mine, but everything else shows is updated on mine. It's weird. Oh, I guess it doesn't switch them anymore. They must have fixed it. So yeah, you can do your settings anytime. Cool. Um, All right. Map. A lot of people pick the first map. It's pretty balanced. It has the most attention to it. Uh, That's the, Arcadia Center? Yes. Arcadia Center is the most attention. You know, they did the most work on that map. That is the default map most players play. Great. Uh, um, and then <laughs> counterintuitively ready is the red button. Nice. Uh, oh, I see. It turns green once you click it. Yep. And one more thing is on your mission. I don't know what yours has you'll probably have field status mechanized force and new world order i don't think you'll have the other three i, I believe those are downloadable content and any one of those first three are going to be the missions you're going to want to do cool. because otherwise they get a little little intense so I'll just Looks pick. Like it. Yeah, I'll pick field status, and we can start our first mission here. Awesome. Uh, is uh, there anything else we need to worry about before we do this, or? Uh, probably me, me picking a character to help you. <laughs> now, obviously, I could go into the colors and change my color scheme and all that kind of stuff, but I'm assuming. That that just is all personal preference. Yep. You can make your person green, blue, purple. You can be a snowman if you'd like for Christmas. An elf. Well, it looks like some of them might be locked by leveling up. Okay. That might be an issue. I know they have the colors. Okay. I don't know if it's a DLC thing. And then the colors lock unlock as you promote. Got so, it. Okay. And Great. Every, and, uh... and then every promotion will give you plus zero point five energy, which is increases your maximum energy bar that you start off with too. Very cool. Without having those energy packs in there, I presume. No, it's it's your uh, I guess they would call it your mana bar. Oh, got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah, um, you're scared. Great, so then um, you've walked me through my basic loadout here and what the different things mean. Uh, are we ready to go into our first mission? Yep. Let's do it. <laughs> 